Whoa, who is she? This is one of the biggest moments in my life, and my dreams are so close, and I'm not ready for this journey to end. On this, she is Denelia. We're going to dive right into what's going on in a big way with Denelia currently. Hi, my name is Denelia, and tonight I will perform with the ADT. Because it's pretty huge, and it's evolving by the week. But first, some background. Denelia is no stranger to competition, seeing as that's really where she got her start. However, singing was not her first love. In fact, she actually danced competitively from around the age of six. Denelia has always had the encouragement of her parents to pursue her many creative interests, as long as education remained the highest priority. So, she was able to take not just dance lessons, but also vocal and acting. It was very clear from a young age this was one multi-talented little girl. When she was just eight years old, Denelia, after winning a nationwide singing competition called Ayalagana Stana, represented Kazakhstan in 2015 at the international singing competition New Wave Kids held in Russia. Here, she performed with increasing confidence and talent and ultimately ended up winning the Audience Award. Driven by her love for performing and supported by more intensive vocal training with a new and current vocal coach, Natalia Churikova, <laughs> Danelia continued with competitive singing. In January of 2017, she competed for and won the grand prize at the international singing competition, Hopes of Europe. And anyone who has discovered Danelia through her Voice Kids Blind Audition video might be surprised to learn that she actually prepared for Hopes of Europe with a familiar Demi Lovato song. And then competed with it in the second round. Later in 2017, Denelia auditioned for the competition that would bring her, up until then, the most notoriety. The Voice Kids Ukraine. Each round was a virtual lock for her to move on. And on again. It should be noted that for her final song, Denelia and her vocal coach Natalia chose Ne Tvoya Vina, or Not Your War, which was originally sung by a popular Ukrainian rock group.
What made Danelli's performance so special is that she not only sang it flawlessly and in her own style, but also perfectly relayed the powerful message of the song about war and how it is perceived by those who direct it and those ultimately affected by it. Here was a Kazakh child who managed to essentially speak as a Ukrainian in a language not native to her. It was quite remarkable and one of the reasons she would eventually win as the first non-Ukrainian ever to take the prize. Danelia. In 2018, Danelia won the Glimpse of the Future Award at the first International Professional Music Premium Bravo Awards in Moscow. This particular award show is basically equivalent to the American Grammy Awards, and her award was essentially like the Best New Artist Award. <laughs> Danelia performed alongside French singer Zaz with her song, Je Vous. Incidentally, Danelia also performed her own solo version of the same song later on in Switzerland at an event called Love from Kazakhstan, accompanied by a Kazakh folkloric group of musical performers. <laughs> With regard to the Bravo Awards, it's notable to mention that in 2019, the Russian singer Paulina Gagarina, who was chosen as Female Singer of the Year at the Bravo Awards, was scheduled to sing her signature song, Million Voices. She was unable to attend and invited Danelia to be a representative of hers at the award show. She accepted and performed the song herself. Later in 2019, Polina would once again invite Danelia to sing, but this time alongside her, as they performed We Are the World in the first round of the finals during the seventh season of the Chinese reality competition, Singer. So we are Back to 2018. After the Bravo Awards, Danelia was selected to represent Kazakhstan in the Junior Eurovision Song Contest with her song Ozin Sen, or Seize the Time, which she actually co-wrote. She performed the song both live and in a beautiful video filmed at one of her favorite locations in Kazakhstan, the Sharon Canyon. <laughs> Danelia would end up finishing in sixth place. to be joined by our next guest. At only 12 years old, she is about to take the world by storm with her amazing singing voice that you can hear tomorrow night on the hottest new show that everyone is talking about, The World's Best on CBS. Yes! 
In 2019, Denalia made her way to the U.S. to compete on a broader stage alongside fellow Kazakh singer Dimash Kudaibergen on CBS's short-lived America's Got Talent rival, The World's Best. Here, she was finally able to show America what the rest of the world had already been witnessing for a few years. She somehow managed to improve upon two of the songs which brought her success on The Voice Kids Ukraine. and then took a popular Pink song and made it her own. She certainly impressed the celebrity judges, especially Drew Barrymore. and made it to the champion rounds. This prepared her well for what would follow, because in May of this year, Danelia announced on her Instagram that she auditioned for one of the most widely known and significant competitions yet, America's Got Talent. Anticipation grew after that post, and once June came, America and the world got to experience once again Danelia on the big stage as she auditioned with her cover of the Fauzia song, Tears of Gold. Mama always told me that I was so naive Give away my trust for pennies I said don't you worry Didn't think that I'd be broken down to cry And help me right that hard And I, all I do was come around and skim it Took all that red dirt hot in that Don't you know that I cry tears away The audience was certainly impressed, and so too were the judges. There was a bit of a wait until July when, because of COVID, the show's format had to change to accommodate not only the lack of a live studio audience, but also an entirely virtual selection process to push the best performers through with the judges' cuts. And that's when Simon spoke, and Denelia, from her home in Kazakhstan, listened. Yes, it's, uh, but that's not to say that it's 
the end of the line. Uh, I will say for both of you, it was a unanimous decision. Um, and the decision is for both of you, we will be seeing you in the live show. Then on August 18th, Danelia took the stage for the quarterfinals. She sang the Harry Styles hit Sign of the Times and did it, as always, in her own special way. She got a standing ovation from the judges, and it looked like a clear path to the semifinals. The next night, it was time to reveal who would move on to the semifinals, now driven by audience vote. Danelia faced elimination along with singer Kelvin Dukes and dance group The Shape. I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't believe. Thank you so much. Now it's on to the semifinals, where Danelia will perform and hopefully earn her spot in the finals. We'll continue to follow her progression in and beyond America's Got Talent, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when the next She Is Danelia posts. And if you liked this video, please like it below and comment if there's something you'd like to see in future episodes. You can find links to all the videos you saw here as well as Danelia's social media links in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next She Is Danelia.